Greetings, everybody. I wanted to read you a couple of quick lines from my favorite artist, Camila Cabello. Just like nicotine, heroin, morphine, suddenly I'm a fiend. Just one hit of you, I knew I'll never be the same. Something must have gone wrong in my brain. Off on one touch, I could overdose. Now, some of you may think that Camila Cabello is talking about drug addiction and the dangers thereof, but are you right? That's what you're gonna learn on the Pop Song Professor video today. Roll it! All right, so we all know that Camila Cabello quit Fifth Harmony, but do you know why she quit Fifth Harmony? Well, she says in an interview for Rolling Stone, the songs were mostly written by other people. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just not for me. It has to be me in order for me to be happy with the result. I get to make mistakes, correct them, and learn and keep growing. So we know that no matter what Never Be The Same is about, it is completely and 100% Camila Cabello's idea. And once she got her artistic freedom, what did she decide to write about? Let's check out the lyrics. Verse one, something must have gone wrong in my brain. Got your chemicals all in my veins, feeling all the highs, feeling all the pain. So she's disoriented, things are going crazy. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And then she continues, let go on the wheel. It's the bullet lane. Now I'm seeing red, not thinking straight, blurring all the lines, you intoxicate me. So it sounds like she's talking to some other entity about some sort of intense, passionate relationship, perhaps. Some sort of obsession, or to go along with the theme of drug addiction so far, addiction. Then we jump into the pre-chorus, just like nicotine, and as she says, heroin. Uh, morphine, suddenly I'm a fiend and you're all I need. All I need, yeah, you're all I need. And this is the first legitimate hint in this song that it's not about dangerous, mind-altering drugs. She says this dude is like nicotine, heroin, and morphine. Now, I don't know if that's completely a compliment, but it means that he must be pretty exciting and make her feel really good. <laughs> Does it also mean that when she goes without him, she throws up and gets the shakes? I don't know, but I doubt there's gonna be a part two song about recovery. Oh dang, there kind of is. The song Consequences is about the aftermath of Never Be The Same. So she has this like super intense relationship where it's so great. And then in Consequences, she sings about I, I don't know what, I'll probably need to do a video explaining that one, but it's about the aftermath of the relationship. I wonder if she's going to use drug references to explain and describe that too. Anyway, I do not mean to offend any of the fans of Camila Cabello. I think she sounds awesome, super catchy, super talented, um, but I, I don't understand pop music's obsession with describing love as drugs. So what you're telling me is like in the studio you were like, hey, there's this super intense passionate experience that people go through and that's really exciting and that's very, very, like a lot of people want it. Let's use that experience to describe love. Now, did you think that I was about to refer to love rather than drug abuse? Yes, that's because you're a normal person, but for some reason in the studio, it's like, it's like I gotta be high on your love, I gotta be addicted to you, you gotta be a drug to me. Yeah, and I kind of respect Camila Cabello for writing a song about the aftermath and the consequences and coming down off of that high, so good on her. Uh, in the chorus, we have, it's you, babe, and I'm a sucker for the way that you move, babe, and I could try to run, but it would be useless, you're to blame. Just one hit of you, I knew I'll never be the same. So, she does switch up the tenses there, that's okay, but she basically is saying that she's powerless in the arms of this person that she's apparently in love with, who reminds her of illegal narcotics. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm listening to pop music or watching an episode of Breaking Bad. Verse two, sneaking in LA when the lights are low, off on one touch, I could overdose. You said, stop playing it safe, girl. I wanna see you lose control. So is he like a drug dealer in this metaphor then? But one thing I find pretty impressive is that she maintains like the drug metaphor throughout the entire song. Every single stanza is full of drug references. It's like super intentional. Like she sat down and she's like, let's describe love in terms of a drug addiction. Like she couldn't have said like anything else and come up with this song. And for those of you who have ever done illegal drugs, you can probably relate to this song if you have also been in love. Actually, you know what, all right guys, guys, if you've been addicted to illegal drugs and you've been in love, comment below, did Camila get it right? Anyway, some of you probably think I'm making fun of Camila. And honestly, I respect her hugely as an artist. I think that this is a silly idea for a song, but that's okay, that's okay. I still listen to it, because it's still catchy. And doing a little bit of research, I think that the drug references are, are fairly intentional here. I don't know if it's the best thing to create music that's centered around a giant drug metaphor where we describe love as something that's actually harmful. What is that saying about drugs, and what is that saying about love? I, 
I didn't know. Like, is love some sort of a roller coaster ride that we ride and then like it all sucks at the end and it's only just that high we live for? That's an unhealthy picture of love. And are drugs something beautiful that we should cherish and that promote relationships with other people? Just some philosophical-ish questions I like to ask myself as I'm scrolling through the top 10. She actually tweeted, this song I wrote about when I fell for somebody and I knew that it would be really hard to recover, but I knew that I'd do it again if I could. And I, I like that, that shows a lot of intentionality behind it. She's kind of basically saying, yeah, I am sort of an addict. That unhealthy aspect of it doesn't come through in this song, but I understand where she's coming from based on that tweet, which is really cool. So I like knowing the context of this song. Uh, I just wish that the context had been included in the song. That would have made the song like super interesting and super like, like deep. But anyway guys, songwriting tip for those of you who are songwriters, if you wanna write some lyrics, sometimes you can take something super powerful and you can describe it through a metaphor throughout. Um, Andrew Huang has a YouTube channel and in one of his videos he talked about doing something similar, but it was like all puns. So he chose the concept of horses and then he basically said, just it's really easy to write lyrics for a song if you just use horse puns throughout. And that's basically what Camila Cabello is doing. She's just using drug references. Yeah, and you you guys can do the same thing. You could describe a friendship in terms of a bank robbery, or you could describe a family member in terms of genocide, or describe like a really beautiful sunny day in terms of a fiery apocalypse coming to destroy all life on planet Earth. I don't know, whatever seems appropriate to you. Again, again, I gotta cool it because honestly, now that I know the context, it really does make a lot of sense. Uh, because it's not really love that she's describing, it's more like obsession, an actual addiction to a relationship in an unhealthy way. So, those of you who are super big Camila Cabello fans who have watched to the end of this video and made it through all of the jokes, know that I, I don't hate this song. I just... I don't like the drug references at first without the context, so I wish there was a little change, but it's okay. And yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to check out these videos. I promise that you'll like them. If you have any questions for me or if you want to suggest a Camila Cabello song to explain in the future, check out those comments. You can actually put one down there and give me your suggestion. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you next time.